unemployed. Good morning everyone. Welcome to my first vlog. I decided to vlog today because I want to just capture this moment in my life so that I can look back on this crazy time and see what I was up to, which is not much, but hopefully it's still interesting to watch. It's about 10.45 right now. I got kind of a late start to the day, just had a lazy morning, laid in bed watching TikToks for a while, but then I got up and meditated and journaled for a little bit. I'm about to get up and get ready for the day. I am going grocery shopping, and then I also need to finish editing my room tour video, which I filmed yesterday, and I try to go for a walk every day, so I will take you guys along with me on my walk, and I've also also really been meaning to send my friends letters so we'll see if I finally get around to that today stay tuned to find out and other than that we're just gonna see what the day brings us it should be exciting or as exciting as quarantine can be Hey guys, I'm eating breakfast in my robe like I do every day. My breakfast is upscale Cheerios. It's Cheerios with banana and chia seeds and some cinnamon and my Swift iced coffee. Um, this looks so bad. Hi guys, so I just got to the grocery store. I'm trying to figure out like when people vlog in their cars where they put their camera because I'm really struggling with that. During quarantine, I have been shopping for this couple that goes to my church. When this all started, they had just gotten back from an international trip. So they were supposed to self quarantine for two weeks. And now they're still just not comfortable grocery shopping, which I totally understand. And I honestly love shopping for them because it makes me feel like I'm doing something. And I live by a lake, so I get to drive along the lake and listen to music and it just gives me a little jolt of serotonin when i grocery shop for myself i usually have no idea what i'm doing and i go to the store and i'm like okay i need eggs and blueberries and then i just browse <laughs> but shopping from someone else's list is nice because you can just go through get everything on the list we love a checklist makes me feel very productive anyways gonna go get some food for them Okay, I'm back, almost two hours, and over $300 worth of groceries later. It was not bad, except when I was returning my cart to where I thought you're supposed to return it, this woman was like, has that been sanitized? And I was like, oh no, I was just returning it. And she was like, oh, those go over there. I come to this grocery store every single time, and I realize that I've been taking from the unsanitized carts every single time. I still wear gloves and a mask and I'm very careful, so I'm sure it's fine, but I was like, oh. But, oh well, I'm gonna go drop off these groceries and then go for a little drive. Hello everyone, so I'm back home. I made myself a smoothie for lunch. It's very good. It is spinach, banana, chia seeds, frozen blueberries, and cinnamon. Blueberry cinnamon is my favorite flavor. I know that's extremely specific, but I'm sitting outside. It is such a beautiful day. It's like 60 degrees and I have my laptop and I'm gonna sit out here and edit my video and I'm so excited to just enjoy the sunshine yesterday i listened to this podcast about the law of attraction and raising your frequency and if you don't know what the law of attraction is you should definitely look into it i knew about it before i listened to this podcast but it just really reinforced the idea in my mind that you have the power to be as positive as you want to be and you know this morning i was not feeling all that positive but i'm trying to appreciate the nice weather and good music and all of that that. and so I'm having a really good day feeling good okay guys here we are Adam just said <laughs> yes I can see up your nose Adam was helping me edit my video and he feels that I was not being authentic let's do a little you can interview me 
do you think you're being your real self on your other videos? No, but I don't think that that is my fault. fault. I'm not trying to be fake or different, but that's just what happens. Do you like the kids are screaming like 15 feet away from us? Yes, I love it. So I'm gonna call you out, I'm being <laughs> fake now. <laughs> this Definitely is harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Can I interview you now? Okay, Adam. What's your favorite part of being my boyfriend? <laughs> um, favorite part? Favorite part is probably just you're really smart and hardworking. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I don't think you're I smart got hardworking. The Unemployed! Unemployed! <laughs> okay, this interview is going very poorly. Hello, so I've been editing this video for hours now and I was all done, ready to export it, and something is wrong. It's a long story, but basically it won't do it, so that's extremely upsetting. Also, I know that my problems are bigger than anyone else's and being a YouTuber is so difficult. Um, just kidding. Anyways, also, the governor of Michigan announced today that we are allowed to have gatherings of 10 people or less. Therefore, both of my parents are at their respective gatherings, but still socially distant gatherings because we're being responsible. But you know when you're a teenager and your parents leave you home alone and they're like, here's some cash, get whatever you want, you can order food. That is literally what just happened to me. My mom was leaving and she was like, you're on your own for dinner, dad and I are gone, you can order whatever you want, just figure it out. This morning, I was so hopeful. I was like, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna send my friends letters. Hello everyone. This lighting is extremely wacky because it is after midnight. Just wanted to fill you guys in on how the rest of my night went, which was not well. I had a great quesadilla. I was hangry and it made me feel so much better. And then about 10 minutes into my delicious meal, I got the news. So my family has a cottage in Northern Michigan. I consider it to be my happy place. So many great memories there. And we got the news that there was a huge forest fire extremely close to it. It was an 120 acre fire. The cross streets that they listed were literally one street away from where my cottage is. So for all intents and purposes, it could have burned down and I was extremely stressed. I spent about two hours just looking on random Facebook pages and groups to see if anyone had posted anything and eventually found out that everything is okay. Someone posted that the fire was completely contained and only one outbuilding and one camper were burned but no one was hurt thank god and no buildings were burned down so that's incredible amazing news and I was so relieved to hear that and my family's actually going to my cottage tomorrow. We had been previously planning on that before all of this, so I'm super excited to go, especially now. I appreciate it now more than ever. It'll be really weird to have a change of location. I've been in this house for far too long. After that whole fiasco, I tried to finish editing my video, tried to figure out my issue that I had, and it did not go well. That's okay. I'm just going to have to re-edit a lot of it, but hopefully I can finish that tomorrow morning and get it posted tomorrow. Then after that, I just watched Netflix with Adam for the rest of the night and it ended up being extremely relaxing, a good end to a half great, half chaotic day. Anyways, I don't even know if I'm going to post this because I just don't know. I don't know if this was any good. I don't know if I was good. I don't know if what I filmed was good. This day was very strange, but I think I'm going to title my little vlog series post-grad crisis vlog. That's just where I'm at in life. So I would say that this vlog is representative of my post-grad crisis life at the moment. We'll see what happens to it. It's all about the memes, you know? Just gotta document everything. The messiness. Yeah, you gotta document the messiness. <sighs> 
so that's all i have if this vlog does make it onto youtube one day i hope you enjoyed watching let me know if you enjoyed it and i will be posting another post-grad crisis vlog soon good night and thank you for watching